Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to another video on the channel. It's the first morning with the new F-150 right next to the Raptor. So I figured we start this video with a quick little comparison. And check this out. As I'm walking up to the truck, look at that. It greets me. It turns the uh, DRLs on and also the rear lights, of course. It's a cool feature with the new F-150. Not something that the Raptor has. It doesn't really matter. It's not that special, but it's neat at least now before the novelty wears off <laughs> so we all know about the raptor definitely i think a bit more menacing looking than the f-150 because it does have the wider fenders got the ford grill and so on the build has not even started with the f-150 yet so a lot of things are going to change maybe not with the front end maybe with the rear end though compared to the raptor here the raptor always has this Ford uh, applique badging on the tailgate all f-150s now have an f-150 kind of like integrated badging in the tailgate because this is a Lariat it doesn't have those ugly plaques that the Limited the Platinum and the King Ranch get so which one of the DRLs do you guys like Raptors always have amber I love the clear LED that's just my favorite but people like different things so what do you guys prefer the Raptor previous generation or the new generation F-150 in terms of appearance but enough about appearance. First cold start. Okay, I admit, it's like an hour and a half cold start. I, I was driving it earlier, but yeah, that can get a whole lot better. And it will. Ooh, I love this. Such nice graphics. So we're gonna head out to my friend's blackout tinning out in Latrobe. It's about 52 miles from my house. I figured this is a stock truck um, currently. <laughs> It's got the five liter V8. We're gonna do some uh, good old fashioned fuel economy tests here. So we're just gonna drive out, it's mainly highway, and see what the five liter V8 gets in fuel economy. A Raptor has the high output EcoBoost, and we can touch like 19 on the highway maybe, if we're driving really conservatively. Having had a lot of Fords and sold Fords and so on, and driven a lot of different engines of Fords, I've always said that the EcoBoost engines, they don't really get good fuel economy, even though they're six cylinders twin turbo because every time you're in boost they suck more fuel than a naturally aspirated b8 does now we're gonna reset this trip meter right here and then we're gonna drive to Latrobe we'll see what our fuel economy is once we get there so we're using eco mode I've never had a truck that has an eco mode so I'm assuming that eco mode utilizes the uh, cylinder de deactivation that Ford now has that's kind of frowned upon I guess Chevy's had it for years um, but now Ford is using it in the 5 liter as well. I don't know if it uses it. Miles. I don't know if it's going to be using that cylinder deactivation in every uh, drive mode, like Sport for instance. So we're going to drive the first 50 miles there in Eco mode. I know it's kind of somewhat boring, but I actually want to know. I want to know how, how good the fuel economy is in this truck. And then on the way back, we're gonna drive it in sport mode, which activates the all-wheel drive system as well. Um, and I'm assuming it's gonna be a, a lot worse. Watch out, crash reported ahead. Okay, so we just got a notice about a crash somewhere. So now we're creeping around in traffic. We've gone about half the distance and we're getting 18.9 miles per gallon. Driving conservatively. Now creeping around in traffic is not good for our little experiment here, especially since we're creeping around in traffic on the highway. So, so we'll see. So we've been dealing with a lot of traffic lights for the past about, I don't know, 10 miles-ish. Stop and go constantly. We're getting 17.9 right now. Still good with, for a truck that's not even broken in yet. We'll see what we have at the end of the trip. All right, so we're here, 54.4 uh, miles, 18.3 miles per gallon. In a lot of stop and go traffic up and down the Pennsylvania Hills, that's impressive. I know that if we were doing just highway and cruising around speed limit, this thing will get over 20. All right, so I've literally been at blackout tending for 10 minutes. <laughs> And I have tinted windows. That's the fastest tint I've ever experienced in my life. 
So in not too long, I'm gonna be coming back here. We're gonna do a full front expel, and then we're gonna have ceramic coat the whole truck. I didn't do that to my previous truck, but this one needs uh, protected, especially being black. But huge thanks to Blackout Tinning for hooking me up with the truck. Definitely check them out. They have a YouTube channel now as well. They do cool road trips like across the whole country. You guys went to Miami, right? We did, and LA. And LA. Yeah. That is sick. You took the, you got a GT4, right? GT4 to Miami, Miami to Blue. That to LA. That's yeah. awesome, man. <laughs> check them out. I'll link all their stuff down in the uh, description. Thank you. Thanks again to Josh. They always hook me up. I took my Ferrari here, got fully expelled. They do great work. I'll list all their uh, contact information in the description as well. Now look at that. I'm taking care of my diet here with the interior work surface. Already, it's getting utilized. <laughs> uh. All right, so we're done eating. Let's just put it in sport. We got to do something different here. Not eco. There we go. Sport. So now it's in 4A. It's going to shift more aggressively. We're going to have a more sensitive throttle response as well. So we'll see what it does to the fuel economy on the way home. All right, so we made it home. For some reason, the navigation took me a longer route. So it's 59 miles home, 17.4 miles per gallon. Uh, so about a gallon difference when you're driving around in sport. But remember, the truck is not broken in yet, so I know we can get over 20 uh, on the highway, driving in eco or normal mode, which is at least better than our Raptor. With the EcoBoost. <laughs> Bobby doesn't want to be filmed. <laughs> All right, Cindy, come on. This is your first time seeing the new truck. Oh, I'm going to sit in the back. No, 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 I'm sitting in the front. Mommy's driving. Oh, I'm driving? Oh, it smells like new car. I know. Can you play Roblox? So you got heated seats back here. No, you can't play Roblox on the screen. Yeah, well, how do you like it? It's good. It smells like a hotel pool that's back here. It's a, a hotel pool? Yeah. <laughs> it smells good. Well, I'm just driving for the first time. She wants this truck now. She can't have it. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. So we got to go pick up the AMG. It's gotten an oil change and some other little minor things. What does AMG stand for? Almighty God. <laughs> so which truck do you like best, Sydney? Do you like the Raptor or the new one? This one. You like this one? Why? No, I like the black truck. The first one. <laughs> yeah, that's gone. That's because it's I know. That's cool. sentimental value. This is you, and that's gone. Huh? Yeah. This is you, and that's gone. You know what I said earlier? What if there's a flying truck? Yeah, there's no flying trucks. Mommy fly, she's speed. All right, so who's dizzy yet? I know there's been a lot of back and forth clips in today's video, so I apologize. But I've been driving this thing a lot, so almost 400 miles on it now in two days. Like we showed earlier in the video, we got tinted windows at least. Tinted windows is obviously not really a mod, although it improves the look of the vehicle. Regarding modifications, it might take a little while until I get the ones that I want. An exhaust, for instance. I've been in touch with Borla, uh, which is the exhaust manufacturer that I had on my previous truck. That was a Borla Attack, the most aggressive one that they have. Since the truck is so new on the market, a lot of uh, aftermarket manufacturers don't have stuff for this yet because they haven't gotten a truck themselves for R&D. The first time I contacted them was like, I don't know, a month before I even got the truck and they they said no of course because the truck wasn't even out yet and they still don't have one I also talked to Corsa and it's the same deal there they won't have an exhaust for this truck until the second quarter of this year now I thought I'd pick the wheels that I wanted but then I kind of changed my mind so I don't really have wheels coming yet I mean it's coming soon I just haven't decided on the exact set now, suspension is in the works though, but for mods in general, it might take a little longer because of, yeah, the truck being so new on the market, you can't really find stuff for it yet. So I might as well enjoy the truck in stock format for as long as I can because it's such a good ride. When you do suspension and wheels and stuff like that, it kind of, yeah, it, it doesn't make the ride better. <laughs> but like we always do on this channel when I buy a new vehicle is talk about how much it costs and what I paid and so on So we're gonna do the same with this truck, of course 
So this is the sticker from my truck. In Fordland, there's tons of different trim levels like we've talked about before. There's the XL, the STX, the XLT, the Lariat, the Platinum, the Limited, the King Ranch, the Raptor, and so on. So as we can see here, I have the Ford Copilot 360 Assist, the, the five liter V8 engine, the wheels, the 373 uh, locking rear axle, twin panel moonroof, trailer tow package, B&O sound system unleashed, definitely worth the $695. I picked the 20 inch wheels. We have the extended range fuel tank now. So I have a 36 gallon fuel tank instead of the 23 that was in my previous truck. 360 degree camera package, Lariat Sport appearance package, 300 bucks. It's like, it's so worth it. Bed liner. That's $595 from Ford. So as we can see here, base price for my truck is $50,980. It's $15,000 and some change in optional features. $66,215 and then destination and delivery. But the sticker price is $66,410. It's insane what truck costs nowadays. Now with that being said, when I get in this truck and I drive it, and I've driven a lot of very nice vehicles, it is such a premium feel for this truck. Now, a lot of people watching out there, they're like, yep, yeah, 66 grand for a truck, it's not worth it. And I get it, but that's what the market is looking like nowadays. Now, if you were to buy a limited trim of the F-150, you start at 70,000. And if you pick every option, it's $81,000. And the difference between a truck like that and mine is, you know, different interior. You can get some more features like the fully reclinable seats, massaging seats stuff like that you get 22 inch wheels it has chrome all over the place and it's the highest trim so you pay a premium that's eighty one thousand dollars for fully loaded limited that in my opinion is definitely not worth it over this truck that pretty much has the same features so sixty six thousand four hundred and ten dollars is the sticker price for my truck now a paid invoice for it which was sixty one thousand and some change, I can't remember exactly. Then there was a $500 Lariat rebate. If I would've bought an XLT, it would've been $1,500. I put $15,000 down, I got 2.9 interest rate for 72 months. And the reason why I picked 72 is that the interest rate was the same for five years versus six years. I'll be paying this truck off way sooner than that. And the interest rate is so low, so I only put $15,000 down. And that way I can save my money and use it for other things. So now you guys know exactly what my truck cost, what I paid, uh, my monthly payment, by the way, I think it's $800 a month, which is actually one of the cheaper car payments that I've had <laughs> in a long time, especially if you compare it to uh, the Ferrari. Now, if you're new to the channel and you haven't really been watching my videos or, or understand how automotive YouTubers make money, this truck is a tool for me to create content, which in turn makes me a return so I know $800 a month might sound a lot for many people, and I completely understand that. A few years ago, that would have been like, I couldn't even think of paying $800 a month for a vehicle, uh, let alone $3,500 a month like the Ferrari. But if it's a tool for your business, it works out. So yeah, we've talked about that before, so I'm not gonna go into that whole thing. But now at least you guys know how much the truck cost, uh, what I paid, how much I financed, what my monthly payment is, and so on. So with that, I think we're gonna end the video. She is dirty already. Um, I hate driving vehicles during the winter, not really because of the salt, but because I don't really wash them myself when it's 32 degrees outside. And I don't wanna take this through a car wash before it's expelled and so on. So she'll be a dirty girl for a little while. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a huge thumbs up. If you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already, you feel like you want to, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.